Please be seated. It is my pleasure to welcome you to East Tennessee State University for our commencement ceremony. We are gathered this morning to celebrate both an ending and a beginning, the culmination of years of work by the students who sit before us and the promise for a better future because of their achievements. This ceremony also celebrates the efforts of family members and friends as well as university faculty and staff who have been a part of the lives of the students who sit before us. I welcome all of you for this important occasion as we confer these degrees that are symbolic of academic and personal achievement. It is now my pleasure to present the president of East Tennessee State University, Dr. Brian Nolan, who will introduce our commencement speaker. Thank you, Dr. Bach, and good morning. In keeping with tradition here at East Tennessee State University, we welcome one of our very own faculty members to the stage this morning to bring the commencement address. It has been a custom to invite the winner of our Distinguished Faculty Award in Teaching to speak during this commencement ceremony. The winner of that award this year is Dr. Robert Beeler, Associate Professor of Mathematics and Statistics. Dr. Bieler joined our faculty almost a decade ago, and he immediately built a reputation as an outstanding classroom instructor. One of the nominators for his Distinguished Faculty Award in Teaching stated that even in his earliest years at ETSU, students referred to him as well-organized, entertaining, and witting, and one who knew the material inside and out. His classroom has been described as lively, with students enthusiastically engaged in presentations. He is called a master teacher and a faculty member for whom teaching is his passion. Dr. Beeler has taught more than a dozen courses in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics, from undergraduate general education to graduate courses, and he has chaired and served on numerous theses committees. A former student of Dr. Beeler's noted that his classroom lectures are always intriguing. He made class so enjoyable, I never wanted to miss a day of instruction. In addition to his teaching, he's an active researcher, and he has a record of service to a profession and to the university that is extensive. He is author of the book, How to Count, an Introduction to Combinatronics and Its Applications, a text for upper-level undergraduates published in 2015. Dr. Beeler received an associate's degree in mathematics from Pellissippi State Technical Community College, a bachelor's of science and a master's of science with a focus in mathematics and statistics from the University of Tennessee, and a PhD in mathematical sciences from Clemson University. We count ourselves fortunate to have him among our faculty, and please welcome Dr. Robert Beeler to give this morning's commencement address. Good morning, President Nolan, faculty and staff, guests, and most importantly, the class of 2017. It is an honor to be here today. I would like to start by congratulating all the graduates on their accomplishments. Since no one gets here alone, I would also like to congratulate the families, friends, and instructors to help get you to where you are today. A couple of years ago, I had a student come to me after class to tell me that I had taught her something that I hadn't intended to. As it turns out, I had used the snipping tool in Windows to steal an image off of the internet and post it into my class notes, which were on the smart board. She was working on a presentation for one of her other classes at that time, so that little trick was immensely and immediately valuable to what she was currently doing. I don't know if she remembers the specific lesson that I was trying to teach her that day. I certainly don't remember what I was doing that day. However, at least I taught her something, even if it wasn't the lesson that I had intended to. This led me to think of the other lessons that we learn in college that the professor did not intend to teach us. Because these lessons are not specific to any college or major, these are often the lessons that have the greatest impact on future success. I promise to keep my remarks brief. As such, I have selected only three lessons to highlight. 
The Greek philosopher Socrates is often quoted as saying, the only thing that I know is that I know nothing. With this quote in mind, one of the most impor important things to learn is how much more we have to learn. For example, while preparing for this talk, I recently learned that on average we speak about 125 words a minute and that the fear of public speaking is called glossophobia. As instructors, we rarely have the time to tell you all that we would like to about our particular topic. As such, what we often do in class is just the tip of the iceberg. In such cases, we hope that you've not been afraid to ask questions, and more importantly, we've hoped that you've developed the ability to ask good questions. Albert Einstein once said, I have no special talent, I am only passionately curious. By asking intelligent questions, we feed our curiosity and continue our education. In a way, continuing your education is necessary to keep up with the advances in technology. Today, many of you have a smartphone in your pocket that allows you to access information from all over the world. It is thousands of times more powerful than the room-sized computers that helped to get us to the moon nearly 50 years ago. I refuse to hazard a guess as to what technological marvels the next 50 years will bring. However, by continuing your studies, you will be able to keep up with the advances in your field. The second lesson that I hope that you've learned to get here is the ability to solve problems. To paraphrase poet Rainer Maria Rilke, be patient towards all that is unsolved in your heart. And try to love the problems themselves. In any job, there will be problems that need to be solved and the solution often requires patience. Sometimes the solution will take longer than you think that it will and it won't be as smooth as you think that it will either. But that's okay. As C.S. Lewis says, Failures are the finger post to achievements. While analyzing literature or solving complex physics equations, you are learning to break the problem into smaller, bite-sized chunks, look at what came before, and to take the next logical step. When solving problems as a group, perhaps you learn to listen to people with different opinions and backgrounds than yourselves. You may have learned that often the best solution comes from leaving your ego, uh, your ego at the door, and that, oh, sorry. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it's your idea that wins out, but it's the best idea that wins out. One of the great triumphs of Allied intelligence in World War II was the ability to decrypt the Enigma code used by the German military. This required a great deal of patience, a number of setbacks, solving dozens of smaller problems, and a group of people with diverse skills working together for a common goal. These same qualities will help you to solve any number of problems that crop up in your professional career. The final lesson that I hope that you take with you going forward is the importance of proper preparation. One of my professors had a line in his syllabus that said, anything that you turn in to me should reflect the professional pride that you take in it. Since the time I was given students of my own, I have shamelessly stolen this line for use on my own syllabi. Often, the students that are the most successful in mathematics are the ones that are the most careful and meticulous about their work. I can't help but think that the same can be said about most majors. Talent and ability can only take you so far. The rest of the way is often an act of sheer, stubborn determination. Upon his retirement, future NFL Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning remarked on the value of preparation by saying, there were other players who were more talented, but there was no one who could outprepare me. There are many times when you only get one chance to get things right. Putting in the grind work ahead of time can help make sure that that one chance goes as smoothly as it can. When preparing your term papers and capstone projects, you learn the importance of careful research and proper format. No doubt you learn the, import the value of putting in the extra hours of proofread and polish that turns an acceptable paper into an exceptional one. This attention to detail will cause your employers to appreciate the extra time and attention that you place in your work. In closing, I would like to reiterate my congratulations today. I hope that you take the opportunity in the coming days to reflect on the things that you learned in order to be successful at ETSU, especially those lessons that have not been specifically part of the professor's plan. This ceremony to celebrate the successful completion of your degree program is called a commencement. However, the word commencement also refers to a beginning, and I hope that this ceremony represents the beginning of your success. 
Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. On behalf of the more than 14,600 students and 2,600 faculty and staff who call East Tennessee State University home, it is my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the entire ETSU family and extend congratulations to you, the class of 2017. Graduates, today's about you. 
Each of you entered this institution full of hopes and dreams and aspirations, yet with some degree of trepidation about the journey that awaited you. Today begins another journey as you move from this place of educational exploration and professional development to move into the workforce or onto the graduate school. Commencement is a time for renewal and reflection, a chance to look back at what has been and a time to envision the future. It is also a time of accomplishment and, that, and pride. That pride is represented and reflected in the faces of the faculty who look out upon you, their students, on today, the most hallowed day of the academic year. As you journey from our institution, I encourage you to take time to acknowledge the role that the faculty have played in shaping both your dreams and your future. When you receive your degree, take time to read the text, paying careful attention to the phrase, upon the recommendation of the faculty. Because graduates, your degree is not a collection of credit hours. It's not a mere reflection of random job-related skills. Your degree is the embodiment of the academic spirit. It is a covenant between you and the faculty in which they formally declare that you have achieved the learning foundations expected of a college graduate. Our faculty have opened your mind to new ideas and philosophies that will serve you well as citizens of our social democracy. In the years to come, you will realize that they have left marks on your consciousness that will never be forgotten. In the end, it's your duty to keep their dreams burning bright, to continue to learn throughout your lifetime, and to serve as active members of your communities and our great society. Graduates, please join me in a round of applause for our faculty. East Tennessee State University was founded in 1911 to serve a greater good, particularly the good people of East Tennessee. We're more than East Tennessee State University, we are the University of East Tennessee, an institution dedicated to serving, an institution dedicated to improving the quality of life of the people who call this region home. You've spent the past four or five or maybe six years as part of a distinctive community that embraces the tripartite mission of teaching, research, and service. You've participated in public service projects. You've volunteered in local schools. You've built homes for families. You've raised money for those whose lives were shattered by domestic violence. And you've volunteered in the fight against the opioid epidemic that is ravaging Appalachia. In doing so, you've embraced our institutional mission, a mission of improving the quality of life for the people of our region. For more than 100 years, our faculty and staff have, in, have transformed the lives of both our graduates and the region as a whole. We're proud of our tradition of serving first-generation college students, and many of today's graduates are the first in their family to receive a college degree. I would like to ask each member of the graduating class who is the first in their family to graduate from college to please stand and be recognized. The platform party this morning is comprised of valued members of the university community. Deans of our various colleges will be introduced later and will join in greeting the graduates of their respective colleges. At this time, I'd like to introduce and ask to stand and be recognized members of the university administration and distinguished faculty who are joining us here on the platform. They are as follows. Dr. William Duncan, Vice Provost for Research and Sponsored Programs. Dr. B.J. King, the university's chief financial officer. Dr. Jeff Howard, associate vice president for student engagement and our dean of students. Dr. Susan Epps, president of our faculty senate. Dr. Tom Donahoe, university associate registrar. And Dr. Robert Beeler, who so masterfully delivered our commencement address this morning. At this time, I also wish to recognize several guests who are seated on the front to my right and ask that they stand to be recognized. Joining us this morning is Ms. Kiana Miller, who serves as our SGA president and is a member of the ETSU National Alumni Association Board of Directors. Kiana is a junior from Nashville, majoring in English and political science. 
We also pleased to welcome to the campus several members of the speak commencement speakers family, Dr. Robert Beeler, if you would please stand. In addition to these individuals, I'd like to acknowledge and thank all of the faculty and staff who work behind the scenes to make this ceremony run so flawlessly. It's not a simple task to invite 8,000 family members to your home for an event, but our staff has done a fantastic job in putting this celebration together. In particular, I'd like to thank Dr. Potterton, Dr. Zembauer, Mr. McMorrin, the ETSU Chorale, and the ETSU Wind Ensemble for the beautiful music that is accompanying today's ceremony. Mr. Fred Sossman, senior writer and associate professor of Appalachian Studies, who will shortly flawlessly announce each graduate's names. Our interpreters from Disability Services for their invaluable assistance, the Office of the Registrar for facilitating this event, and to Sean Morris and Tisha Harrison for the beautiful decorations that adorn the stage. Graduates, enjoy this moment. Enjoy everything that this moment is going to bring. And I would now welcome back to the podium our provost, Dr. Bert Bach. A total of 1,327 degrees are being conferred today. Honors graduates are wearing medallions on special colored ribbons as indicated on pages 25 through 27 in the program. Those wearing white ribbons are graduating cum laude with grade point averages of 3.5 to 3.64. Those wearing yellow ribbons are graduating magna cum laude with grade point averages of 3.65 to 3.84. Those wearing blue ribbons are graduating summa cum laude with grade point averages of 3.85 to 4.0. Of the, of the baccalaureate degree recipients, uh, 119 have attained cum laude distinction, 139 are magna cum laude, and 69 have attained summa cum laude, the highest honors. Two graduates this morning are graduating with perfect 4.0 averages. I would like to ask them to stand and be recognized. They are Austin Eugene Cross of Bristol, Tennessee, and Charlotte Leone Kaysner of Rockville, Maryland. We are extremely proud of our Reserve Officers Training Corps, ROTC program, here at ETSU and of our students' commitment to service and leadership excellence. Yesterday, we commissioned one senior as a second lieutenant in the United States Army, Colin J. Rose, and this new officer will graduate today in this afternoon's ceremony. Beyond the academic programs of study, which he will continue on through medical school, this new lieutenant has pursued a very demanding program of leadership development and physical training that has prepared him to one day lead our nation's sons and daughters as military officers. <laughs> Mr. President, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for degrees by successfully completing curricula offered through the several colleges and schools of East Tennessee State University. They have been recommended to be awarded appropriate degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments by all of the faculties and by the following. Dr. Gordon Anderson, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Dennis Depew, Dean of the College of Business and Technology. Dr. Don Samples, Dean of the College of Clinical and Rehabilitative Health Sciences. Dr. Rick Osborne, Dean of the School of Continuing Studies and Academic Outreach. Dr. Gregory Aloya, Dean of the Claudius G. Clemmer College of Education. Dr. Cecilia McIntosh, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. 
Dr. Judith Slagle, Dean of the Honors College. Dr. Wendy Nering, Dean of the College of Nursing. Dr. Randy Wyckoff, Dean of the College of Public Health. Ms. Patricia Van Zant, Dean of University Libraries. Dr. Debbie Bird, Dean of the Bill Gatton College of Pharmacy. And Dr. Robert T. Means, Jr., Dean of the James H. Quillen College of Medicine. Would candidates for the doctoral degrees please rise for the conferring of degrees? The Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education graduates will be hooded today by the chairs of their dissertation committees. President Nolan, the candidates now standing and some absent with permission have completed all requirements for these doctoral degrees. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the doctorate degree to which you are entitled with all of the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. If you would please come forward as your name is called, Dr. McIntosh will be honored to present you with your diploma. Kimberly Sanders Austin, hooded by Dr. Amy Malkus. <clears throat> Courtney Lily Cook, hooded by Dr. Jill Stinson. Laura DeLustro, hooded by Dr. Jill Stinson. Emma Jillian Frederick, hooded by Dr. Stacy L. Williams. Jacqueline Willis Johnson, hooded by Dr. Rosemary Geiken. Michelle Eileen Johnson, hooded by Dr. Amy Malkus. Matthew Landon Sams, Hooded by Dr. Michael Ramsey. <laughs> Kyle A. Sur. Hooded by Dr. Chris S. Dula. Sarah Courtney Walter. Hooded by Dr. Jody Polaha. Brittany Victoria Williams, hooded by Dr. Jill Stinson. Matthew Glenn Case, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Jessica Watson Kate. Hooded by Dr. Donald Good.
Colin G. Chesley, hooded by President Brian Noland. Bradley Douglas Edwards, hooded by Dr. James Lampley. <laughs> Carrie M. Eubanks, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Miles Joseph Hebrard, hooded by Dr. William Flora. Stanley K. Hodges, hooded by Dr. James Lampley. Christy Elaine Heckey, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Amy B. Horton, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. J. Andrew Irvin, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Heather Nicole LeMay, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Brian J. Lucas, hooded by Dr. James Lampley. Nicole R. Morris, hooded by Dr. Pamela Scott. Elizabeth Ayers Neal, hooded by Dr. William Flora. Brent Lamar Palmer, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Yvette McDaniel Pennington, hooded by Dr. William Flora. Erica Renee Presswood, Hooded by Dr. Pamela Scott. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Roberts Clawson. Hooded by Dr. Pamela Scott. <laughs> Donna Cartwright Stapleton. Hooded by Dr. William Flora. Derek Lee Voiles, hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley. Mandy Lynette Walker. Hooded by Dr. William Flora. Christopher John Winningham. Hooded by Dr. Virginia Foley.
Would candidates for the master's degrees please rise for the conferring of degrees? President Nolan, the candidates now standing and some absent with permission have completed all requirements for master's degrees in the School of Graduate Studies. On behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. If you would please come forward as your name is called, Dr. McIntosh will be honored to present you with your diploma. Afaf Al-Sofiani. Brittany Arnold. Opal Clark. Haley Michelle Cole. Kristen H. Darnell. Jared Miles Davis. Lauren Patrice Driggers Jones. Angela Nicole Duggins. Ehi Edokamen. Philip Quasi Godzekpo. Bradley Ray Hartzell. Joshua Harwood. Kalantrea Laotian Hunt. Kevin Hyatt. Marissa Jones. Lee Kassam. Kelsey Rose Kaiser. Brittany McHenry, Nicole Marie Morris, Dalton Oliver Rogers, Angelina Shirey, Martha J. C. Hawk, Nayef Almutairi. Amani Ali Al Sheri, Camilla Michelle Archer, Ryan Hunter Armstrong, Jessica K. Arrington, Jessica Winkle Barrett, Elena R. Black. Justin Wayne Bullock, Francis Quesici Kobana, Aaron Timothy Gorley, Felicia Cardone Green, Jonathan Blake Hopson, Kayla Caroline Huber. Hannah Noel Johnson. Yeah. Hannah Miles. 
Morgan A. Saunders. Deborah Corinne Stevens. Deborah Karen Street. Derek Turner. Cheryl K. Williams. Nicholas Boismenu. Abayomi B. Ojo. Kaiyua Shang. Adela Beauty Adu Agemang. Tuka Faisal Badi Al Khatib. William David Ford. Rachel Michelle Grapp. Marin Danielle Hudson. Ayodeji Oludari Ipin Maroti. Lahua Mamudu. Victor Timadayo Ojo. Emmanuel Onobun. Hannah Catherine Jansen Pollard. Theophilus Saime. Would candidates for baccalaureate degrees please rise for the conferring of degrees. President Nolan, the candidates now standing and some absent with permission have completed all requirements for baccalaureate degrees. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree to which you are entitled, with all of the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. If you would please come forward as your name is called, the dean of your college or school will be honored to present you with your diploma. The College of Arts and Sciences, Natasha Renee Aguilar, Tucker Quillen Alley, Jason Michael Anderson, Caroline Grace Andrews, Kobe Dale Atwell, Zachary James Austin. Joshua Logan Bacon. Caleb Seth Bailey. Jacob David Bailey. Anna Banazak. Matthew Allen Baptist. Aaron Elizabeth Barrett. Laura Emily Battle. Amy Louette Bennett. Carrie Elizabeth Bledsoe. Jonathan M. Bolden. Eric Paul Boshears. 
Chase Alicia Bowman. Hannah Elizabeth Brimer. Tyler Thomas Brown. Joanne Booker. Stephanie Arlene Burton. Jessica Carolina Cabe. Courtney Ray Collins. Logan E. Corbin. Emily Roche Crawford. Haven Brooke Crawley. Donald Eugene Crenshaw III. Lily Joy Crosby. Cam Lebron Cruz. Natasha Marie Daniels. Jackson Keith Davis. Taylor Grace Davis. Brooke Whitney Day. Matthew Thomas Deakins. Rachel Renee Dean. Jesse Evan Denny. Linda Dobell. Adam Dupes. Blade Chandler Durbin. Sarah Nicole Eller. Tiffany Lee Ellis. Troy Farmer. Zachary Stephen Feathers. Stephen B. Felix. Hannah Michelle Fry. Sahara Janice Fletcher. Allison Brooke Galloway. Scotty Lynn Garber. Erica Taylor Goins. Erin Elizabeth Gorska. Blakely Alyssa Graham. Jordan Brooke Greer. Caitlin Alexandria Griffin. Michaela Bree Grimes. Taylor Elena Hall. Ashley Nicole Hamilton. Lauren M. Hamilton. Tra Perry Haney. Matthew Thomas Hankins. Sarah Beth Harrell. Kylie Michelle Hawkins. Rebecca J. Haynes. Patrick D. Hayes. Sarah Marie Hempenstall. Matthew Tyler Ramsey Hinkle. Lindsay A. Holloman. Lauren Christine Hooks. Markham Cove Horner. Daniel Ellis Hughes. Sarah Elizabeth Humphrey. Jarrett Jacob Ipox. Adrian Paul Jones. Caitlin Rebecca Jones. Margaret Catherine Jones. Robert Brandon Jones. Hannah Justice. Charlotte Leone Kessner. 
Zach Lee Caskell. Ashley Nicole Keith. Tyler Alexander Kelly. Ashlyn Noel Kellner. Kylie Marie Kilborn. Brett Howard Kingry. Christopher Todd Kadera. Fallon Omar Lee. James Emerson Lewis. Lauren Taylor Lewis. Yujia Lee. Austin Keith Light. Yulia Julia Little. Heather Lee Love. Dylan Ray Malone. Kelly Joe Grosser. Morgan Gray Malone. Samantha Gail Malone. Bianca Murray. Morgan Christine Martin. Wilson Miles McNair. Christian E. Mendez. Rebecca Marie Merrifield. Kara Leanne Moody. Taylor Barton Moorfield. Christopher Lee Morgan. Leanza Morgan. Alexis Adriana Morrison. Jasmine Anise Molden. Daryl Jean Reese. Cody Alexis Mullins. Emily Aaron Mullins. Leanna Ruth Murdoch. Natalie Elizabeth Murray. Anna Joy Musket. Brianna Keneal Nave. Caroline Grace Nicewander. Rami Omar Nimmer. Elise I. Nice. Stevie Lee Ogle. Olivia Elizabeth Page. Erica Nicole Panther. Marinda Grace Parham. Casey Inkler. Cody Allen Parker. Emily Parker. Charles Ray Patton, Jr. Morgan Elena Payne. Emily Beth Philpot. Ashley Renee Pope. Ainsley Lindsay Porchak. Troy Allen Prater. Taylor Alexandria Pritchard. Christopher Allen Purden. John Thomas Queener. Jacob S. Rasnick. Austin Mariah Ray. April L. Rollins. Richie Jean Rourke. 
Harley Morgan Russell. Benjamin Eric Sanders. Chantal Victoria Sastre. Hannah Marie Sheen. Haley Marley Schneider. Colin Robert Schoen. Taylor William Simone. James Christopher William Paul Skeen. Ryan Michael Skinner. Elizabeth K. Sluss. Brandon James Smith. Brenna K. Smith. Courtney Lee Smith. Macy Chandrea Smith. Scotty Glenn Smith. Tori Ann Smith. Courtney Ali Soper. Jessica Lee Spangler. Matthew Robert Stacy. Miranda Taylor Steele. Alexia Janae Stewart. Madison Kate Stiltner. Calliope Yvonne Strap. Rebecca Nicole Street. Zachary Lane Strickler. Bethany Jane Taylor. Krissa Marie Tipton. Megan Elizabeth Todd. Cody S. Trent. Tanner L. Trent. Alexandra Mackenzie Trulove. Caleb Vaught. Whitney Mercer Ward. Justin Alexander Watkins. Taylor Nicole Watson. Adam Colden Welch. Richard Scott Wells. Cheston A. West. Heather Brianna Michelle White. Joshua Cade Whitman. Cody Aaron Williams. Blaine Green Willis. Robert Donald Wilson. Kansas Lynette Winningham. Scott Johnson Wilson Wiseman. Savannah Carly Witt. Michaela Janice Woods. Jacob C. Worley. Kyle G. Wright. Panayotis Othan Sixes. Mengfei Yang. Jennifer Danielle York. The Claudius G. Clemmer College of Education. Ethan Cole Barrett. Carson Allen Biggs. Hayden James Blake. Harley Danielle Blevins. 
Lauren Elizabeth Bloodworth. Madison K. Bowles. Savannah Lee Bone. Brittany K. Broyles. Christopher Buckles. Luis Carmona. Rebecca Elaine Crimes. Dennis Wayne Clemens. Abrielle Coleman. Jessica S. Colley. Rebecca Sue Compton. Austin Eugene Cross. Kayla Nicole Dykes. Kelsey Diane Dykes. Larissa Jasmine Early. David Fletcher Eckern, Jr. Thomas Alexander Emerin. Courtney Danielle Farrell. Alana Marie Fox. Logan Todd Fox. Tyler Patrick Gillenwater. Leanna Rose Goebel. Hannah Kilborn Greer. Meredith Brooke Hale. Kara Colette Hamlin. Edwin Thomas Hammontree. Chassie Gabrielle Harris. Terrence Wesley Havercombe. Austin D. Herrink. Skyler Alice Hirsch. Joseph Andrew Hitchcock. Nashe Travell Holland. Megan Elizabeth Horner. Ashan Amin Jenkins. Shawnee Lee Landreth. Mitchell Ian Larkin. Thong Bill Lean. Logan Starnes Lumpkin. Taylor Nicole Luster. Savannah Taylor Magit. Haley Brooke Malone. Austin William McCarter. Kaylee Ashton McCaslin. Tara Grace McDonald. Tristan J. Meadows. Tyler Timothy Milligan. Sunshine Louise Moore. Elizabeth Margaret Morgan. Emily Beth Mowell. Stephen Lee O'Sullivan. Warder Benjamin Page. Angela Elisa Panther. Pooja Dinesh Patel. Natalie Ann Patton. Leah Michelle Perry. David A. Polin. Jack Elliott Price. Joshua T. Price. Kayla Page Roten. 
Jasmine B. Richards. Amanda K. Ritter. Ethan Lee Roberts. Shelby Johnson Ryder. Jolie Morgan Scalf. Anna Amelia Severs. Lauren N. Schaffer. Patrick Taylor Shaw. Madison Alexandra Snyder. Sydney McLean Starnes. Derek Dwayne Stiltner. Taylor Lynn Street. Patrick Lamont Taylor, Jr. Christian Blake Tyree. Chelsea Paige Wagner. Katie Lee Walls. Carissa Meredith White. Alexandra Paige Wright. Tyler Wayne Yokley. Michael Anthony Zavasky. The School of Continuing Studies and Academic Outreach. Stephen G. Antonelli. Charles James Baker. Shemaine Daniel Bess. Jason Patrick Bryant. Veronica Page Cantrell. Timothy W. Carr. Christian Donovan Coger. Natalia A. Domina. Tim Fright C. Drain. Colton Beckley Eller. Linus Evans. Timothy Wayne Feathers. Allison C. Fisher. Aaron W. Foster. David Lawrence Giles. Samuel Patrick Hall. Kayla Marie Hernandez. Matthew Justin Hauser. Caleb Slade Johnson. Zach Nathaniel Kennard. Corey Ann Kilby. Daniel Joseph Knight. Susan Sullivan Cadera. Alexandra Taylor Lacey. Benjamin David Lowry. Morgan Alexis Manning. Christopher James Massengill. Mallory Brooke McLean. Bruce B. Oler. Morgan Leanna Patrick. Marlise Porter. Harry Joseph Richardson. Samantha Rain Riley. Kyle Scott Roberts. Randy Lynn Sally. Dallas Eugene Sheen. Jennifer L. Shute. 
Kylie Brooke Shear. Rusty Lee Sparks. Corbin L. Stevens. Samantha Carol Swanger. Wendell R. Swartz. Gabrielle Nicole Teague. Stormy Jade Tuggle. Christian Joseph Augustin Verzoza. Sydney Kane Wagner. Kayla Elizabeth Weathers. Allison Williams. Linda Marie Zerby. Graduates, as a symbol of completion, please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your mortar boards, and I ask the audience to join me in paying tribute to the class of 2017. Members of the graduating class, as you begin the next phase of your educational and professional journey, I'd like to leave you with a challenge. Each of you are now alumni of East Tennessee State University. You are formal ambassadors of your alma mater. You're also part of a family of alumni who carry forward our collective mission of improving the quality of life for the people of our region. So here's my challenge. Remember how today feels. Take that feeling and pass it along to a neighbor or a friend who's undecided about their future. Share the joy that you feel today and encourage them to attend post-secondary education. Help them complete a college application or fill out the FAFSA or simply take them on a college tour. Those small acts of encouragement will transform their lives and enrich yours in the process. And in doing so, you will embody the mission that has been part of this institution since its founding in 1911. Graduates all across our campus and across the globe, people are celebrating the holidays. Children are anticipating seeing Santa, and children at heart look forward to seeing Luke Skywalker. In a season in which so much time and focus is placed on consumption, I encourage you to focus on giving and in service, and in doing so, you will embody the true spirit of the holidays. In closing, may today be the beginning of a new journey, a great adventure, and a life well lived with purpose. On behalf of the entire ETSU family, I wish you success in achieving your goals. May the force be with you, Godspeed, and go box!
Ladies and gentlemen, we present the East Tennessee State University class of 2017.